We call this balloon garland a garland to go because it is small enough to fit in a car such as SUV, crossover or minivan. So if you want to pre-make your balloons and take it to a party, that's your size. Or if you're a balloon decorator and you want to offer a balloon garland to your clients to for pickup, this is your balloon garland. First step is to build your balloon base. I will be using three colors, um, chrome, qualitex, uh, light blue, calisan, and white, calisan as well. Um, for balloon base, I'll be using two main sizes, 12 inch and 18 inch. To build your balloon base, you need to start inflating balloons in pairs and put them in clusters of four. So your first cluster you will look like this. Make one here. Second one. And just twist them together. So you get your first four balloon cluster. We'll make 16 clusters like this to build our balloon base. When building a balloon base, your main size to use is 12 inch balloons, but you can also add some 18 inch balloons. Uh, so my next pair will be one 12 inch, one 18 inch. <laughs> and I will put it together with a uh, two 12 inch balloons. <laughs> 16 four balloon clusters are ready and inflated. Now we can assemble our balloon garland base. To tie your balloons together, I will use a regular curl ribbon. We'll start our first cluster. I'll use white one and I'll tie a knot. Like this. And I'll just start tying my clusters together. Um, the second one will be white as well. So I hold them together tightly and then wrap my curling ribbon around several times. white ones and I'm going to do blue next. white again.
know it's much prettier when we do color blocks. White, blue, gold, white versus mixing colors together. You have one white cluster, cluster left, so I'm just going to go on the side at the end. Right here. When you find the last cluster, make sure to cut off the ribbons and make sure you tie it up so your balloon garland does not fall apart. I usually, usually will do two knots. Our next step is to attach this garland to a wall and shape it. Um, to attach it to a wall, I recommend using small command hooks. They are removable and you can find a link where to purchase them below the video. Command hook looks like this and it comes with an adhesive. Um, you will just peel the red portion and stick it to your hook in the back. And you will peel this part when you're ready to put your hook on a wall. And stick my command hook. So let's see right here. Can I just use 160 Q balloon? it on the wall. Make sure you use 160 because 260 doesn't stretch that well and it can, it can pop your command hook. Base for our balloon garland is ready. I use only one command hook to hold it and it holds it very nicely. My next step is to shape it. It's the most interesting part and we'll start shaping it by adding big balloons first. Remember, we're building a small balloon garland that is able to fit in a car, like SUV or crossover. So we're not going to be adding 36 inch balloons, but only 24. That's the maximum size that will allow us to fit this in the car. I have two approximately 24 inch balloons ready, and I will put one right here. And, um, to tie it to your balloon garland, I'm just using the neck of the balloon. One is up, and I think second one I'll put right here. My next step will be to make bottom of your garland a little, little bit wider. So I will inflate a few pairs of uh, white balloons and I'll just add them on the side here, on the side here, and maybe a couple right here. I'll put balloons in a four balloon cluster again and just find the spot somewhere here to tie it. on the other side. Find your balloon neck. Find one in your garland right here. And just tie the two together. I will add additional one, additional cluster at the front. Same way, I'm going to find my balloon neck. One more cluster or duplet can go over here. In my next step, step number four, 
I'm going to add additional clusters to make balloon garland a little bit fuller. How I'm going to do it? I will inflate a pair of balloons, these are two 12 inch balloons, and I will twist it with a pair of 5 inch balloons. It will look like this. And the spot where I want to tie it will be on top, right here. your balloon racks to tie I think over here our last and final step is to add small clusters of five inch balloons to cover up these gaps and to make our organic balloon garland look organic with all the different sizes mixed in. Add them randomly where I think it might look good. Um, there is no specific amount of balloons you can add. It's really to your discretion. But the more the merrier. It's all done and beautiful. Please subscribe to our channel and all the links to purchase supplies are posted below.